right, everybody. You can see what time it is. It is time for the up and down matches. That's right. Welcome to Seoul, Korea. I am Doa. With me is the Mole illustrious Trap. Mole Trap. How's it going, gonna, everybody? I was going to give you an adjective. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to cut off your adjectivity. It's okay. We're both a little bit tired. It's 1 p.m. here in uh, Seoul, Korea. So on most days, Mole Trap and I are still sleeping right now. So, Oftentimes, uh, at this point in the yeah. day, we are still quite asleep. We woke up early. We wanted to cast some GSL for you, so that's why we're here. Although you may notice our voices, we have that kind of like low early morning voice going on a little bit. Yeah, man. Hello, ladies. That's right. It's time to cast some StarCraft, too. Ooh. But seriously, though, we have got an amazing first group. It is going to be really, know? really sweet. And I hope uh, I hope all wow. of our foreign fans yeah. heard about this little schedule change because yeah, no Liquid kidding. Huck is going to be vying for a place as the only non-Korean in Code S. Yep. We're all rooting for him. He's got a really tough group. He can do it. But we know he's capable of it. Now let's take a look at yesterday's results before we go any further at all. Yesterday we did see Group C and D. We saw TSL Alive and Zenex Beyond advancing to Code S, while Check Prime Dot we fell down to Code A. A Zerg that's been around a long time going down to the Code A tournament. A little bit of a surprise there. Then in Group D we saw Slayers Ryung have to go up against OGS MC and Hong and Prime. Slayers, Slayers Ryung unfortunately could not. Handle it went down to code A, yeah. MC and Hongen back up to code S. Yep. And now today's matches. Let's take a look at what we've got in store for you today. We've got groups E and F to start off with. It's going to be Slayers MMA, Marine King Prime Dot We and Liquid Huck. And how can you lose with a smirk like that? That's right. Look at that smile. It's, it's ready to go. Then group F, we've got MVP Violet, a pretty impressive Zerg player. Is the next Kyrix, another impressive Zerg player. And our third impressive Zerg player, OGS The Wind. So we're going to see a ZVZVZ group. I think that's probably the first time we've had that at the GSL. As far as I remember, there might have been uh, one other, actually. Now that I say possible. that. It's possible. I seem to recall I'm something sure of the sort happening. Twitter will help me out. But let's take a look at today's matches. Slayer's MMA. Look at that. Looking pretty good He's lately. Won. He's won a lot of games lately. Yep, his only losses in recent memory versus Bomber, who is a Terran, but of course beating other Terrans like MVP in the team league, yep. beating Hyperdub recently. So, uh, you know, does he have what it takes to go up against Marine King Prime? Well, he's he, definitely a good TV tier. Definitely a good TV tier, yeah. although Marine King uh, is one of the best as well. It's going to be an awesome that's set, that's for sure. Yeah, and speaking of Marine King, there he is. Hasn't done quite as well lately, but keep in mind, a lot of those games in his last 10 matches were part of that finals from the uh, World Championships yeah. where he did get taken down by MVP. So uh, take that that last 10 games with a bit of a grain of salt, yeah, I would say. Usually you don't yeah. do as well lately if you've been playing MVP lately. That's that's true, unless you're Bomber. Yeah. Unless you you're Bomber, okay. man. But, uh, in which case, yeah. you own face. But keep in mind that he did beat MC in that best of five. That was pretty impressive. And he did take two games off of MVP. But let's take a look at Liquid Huck. Huck. Kind of up and down a little bit. Seven wins, ten losses in his last ten games. So again, you know, take that with a bit of a grain of salt. But uh, he will be in a TV or a TVP mode today, or yeah. TVP rather, I suppose. You want to switch around and make Huck first. And uh, lately he's been having to play a lot of uh, PvP. Now he did yeah, have to he... play MVP in his group, so a little bit tough there. Yep. And uh, by the yeah. way, despite the little uh, graphic there, Huck is actually a Protoss player. And yes, he, he has two Terrans to face up against, so he actually has a little bit of an advantage in practicing because he just has to play practice versus a Terran. Whereas yeah. MMA or Marine King, you know, they probably practice their TVT, but just in case, they probably brushed up on their TVT builds on the maps as well. Yeah. So they had to practice maybe a little bit extra for this, uh, depending on what's going to happen. Of course, both of them trying their hardest to win the first set as well. Check out those maps. That is a good map set for TVT. I'm Indeed. excited about this. This Caldrum is going to be pretty sweet. Yeah. I was Fair doing enough. flips in the studio this morning. I was so was. excited about today's matches. We are casting all day today, about eight hours total. It's a marathon. Four groups, eight best of threes. Let's get started with the first one, Green King versus MMA on Taldarim Altar. Let's see what happens. Saw so Leo walk in. He won't miss any days of GSL. That guy's no, man. Anyway, we've got our red Terran up at the top right of Taldarim Altar. He is. Slayer's MMA. And that does indeed stand for Mixed Martial Arts. It does. It's been confirmed. Yep. Wow. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. 
And uh, here we have our blue Terran. He is not the Marine Prince, he is. Marine King Prime Wing. He is the Marine King. That's right. Looks like he's going to play chess on his keyboard. Oh, King's was, it, not was the, it the speckled? Yeah. Big thanks to LG, Intel, and G-Skill for being such excellent sponsors, as Bill and Ted would say, most excellent sponsors. Thanks for making the GSL possible. We appreciate it. Yeah, you know, it's LG, Intel, and G-Skill. They really embody the sentiment of be excellent to each other. They do. They really do. You can picture Bill S. Preston Esquire standing there. That's right. One arm on his heart, the other in the air. Telling the world how to live. So, uh, look at that. Interesting. Very interesting. They're both going. Whoa. Or actually, no. Uh, no, no, no. Marine King going for an early gas. MMA. Yeah, Marine King going ah, gas yeah. before barracks. Yeah. And it looks like he's going to try and wall off with his barracks to prevent okay. the scout from getting in to see what shenanigans, what shenaniganry he will be up to. Now, the interesting thing with going gas first in, in a TVT like that, or going gas first at all, really, is when your opponent checks that by the time they get to the, your base a lot of times. Unless they check the gas and see how much you've actually mined, yeah. it looks like a normal opening. But there's a couple things you can do out exactly. of this. You can get a very fast Banshee out. You can very, do a very fast Cloak Banshee. You can do uh, Blue Flame Hellions. Those are the more common things we've seen. But clearly, yeah. Green King uh, switching things up a little bit from the norm, I'd say. It's kind of like going gas first in Zerg. You can get... Your Zergling speed as soon as your spawning pool finishes. The same thing if you go gas first as a Terran, then just after your barracks is completed, you can build a factory. And did you see the ground warp? Was that just on my computer? I don't know. It might have been. It looked like the factory planning down messed up the uh, really textures, but I could have been wrong. Well, Maybe I'm just tripping. When you drop a whole building onto the ground, that's uh, yeah. sometimes that has an effect. In any case, he does have that factory down, and he's going to be... Uh, Rolling off indeed before the yeah. scout gets there, so MMA will have no idea what's going on whatsoever. Now, MMA is getting a tech lab on his barracks, which is a little bit surprising. <laughs> um, in a TVT opening, that's not something you see terribly often. Is that fast tech lab? I think yeah. he must sometimes, be planning a Reaper. I yeah, would imagine I was, he's going to get a Reaper to get some scouting. Yeah. Exactly. I was going to say, sometimes they get a Reaper first, and this is going to be a Reaper expand. Yep. Something we've been seeing a little bit lately um, in Terran versus Terran. Looks like it will be uh, most likely Banshees from Marine King. My voice breaking already. I'm not even excited yet. That's all right. It's going to be a great day. Uh, yeah, you're right. Starport going down right there. And nothing being produced out of the factory. So if he was going to go for some kind of Hellions, he'd probably do that. He's probably going to put down the tech lab on the factory any moment if he is planning Banshees. Yeah. That is and a little bit surprising. There, there it goes. There. A little bit be doing a little bit of scouting. A couple more barracks going up for MMA, so he will be going... A bit bio heavy, and that's going to be pretty helpful when that Banshee comes into his base. He can use a scan, use the Marines to uh, take that out. Yep. Going for uh, fast Marine shields, too. That's something that I feel like hmm. we've seen a little bit more often since um, since the patch where stim time increased. You see a lot more early Marine shield pushes. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it didn't. I think that's how MMA beat MC in, in the Team League, actually. He went for a a, a combat shields rush instead of a stim timing rush, and it actually worked really well keeping his units alive. So it's an well, interesting choice, and it's a more, it's, it means he's going for a more uh, a long term build, yeah. more than likely. And there's that Reaper sneaking in. Oh, he's going to see pretty much everything if he gets far enough into the base. He sees the two gas already. Whoa, be careful, worker of Vault. And actually, that Reaper is going to be chased away, so. MMA really not seeing a whole lot right there. There are certain things he can infer from this. Um, seeing the two gas and then scouting the front, you know, seeing the reactor can kind of tell him. Basically. Oh, and he's actually going to go after that reactor. Oh, I like that. That's a great decision. Whoa. Marines can't hit him. They have to come out. And oh. that... Oh! Reaper getting taken out. A little Whoops. bit of a mistake there by MMA letting that Reaper die. Must have been... Oh, that Banshee might get seen, though. He's going to fly right over the Marine. Nice. Almost chasing it down. Never mind. <laughs> yep. Uh, so MMA has... Oh. Well, yeah, Cloak is almost finished. MMA is almost... He's probably going to stop. He's going to have two scans, one at each orbital, just about the time that Cloak finishes. So he might be able to deal with this. He is planning down turrets as well. It is expansion, or in his mineral line, rather. And the Banshee is Cloak. It's giving chase. Oh, Does not quite have a scan yet, though. So he's just kind of taunting that Banshee with his Marines right now. 
Yeah, you can kind of get some positioning out the Banshee by pushing it back, making them think you have and a scan. He has a scan now. Is he going to use it? He needs to be in the right position. Oh, Marines more Marines coming, coming in. Oh, Whoa. man, he's losing so many Marines. He's eight, six kills on that Banshee. Oh, there's oh, the scan, oh. and he gets it. He gets it. Nice. Yeah, without Stim, very, very difficult sometimes to get your Marines in position like that. Nice job by MMA taking that out. He did lose a lot of Marines, though, like you said. Those tanks, can they not fit through them? Uh, oh, they can't. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So the you tank can fit can't fit through the bottom one. Just That's because weird. the uh, supply depot is at a little bit of a position where it constricts that a little bit more than the top one does. Interesting thing to note if you're tearing that walls off. Whoa. And, wow. Green King actually didn't get a, an expansion. He's going to try and push off one base. Wow. He looks like he's going to go for a siege timing, and it looks like MMA will have stim by the time this attack arrives. He clears out the watchtower with the Banshee first, so he's not completely certain that this push is coming. He suspects he's putting up more bunkers at his front. This is going to be big, and if MMA holds this, he's going to have a really big economic advantage. Yeah. Yeah, really. I mean, uh, I am a little bit surprised he's cloaking so early. Oh. Yeah, might have wanted to save that Banshee to get some vision for his siege tanks, but we'll see how MMA handles this. It's going to be a little bit tough to defend. And siege, siege mode just completes. didn't finish. He's going to be able to start shelling. Yep. And there's not a lot MMA can do about this right now. Just has to repair the bunker. Manchi going to work as well. And these bunkers may actually go down pretty quickly. MMA in a very tough spot right now. Yeah, the splash damage actually killing oh, SCP. The oh, nice. Gets the Banshee, but now he's got to worry about this huge army bearing down on him. That last bunker is getting shelled now. And he does not have the Marine count to move in there. Siege mode is 20 seconds from completing for MMA. When that gets up, he might be able to hold this off. But in the meantime, he's losing a lot of ground. Banshee taking a little bit more damage there. But Marine King able to save it. He needs to be very, very careful. Oh, flying it back to the buck range for just a moment. But right now, wow. MMA in uh, dire straits at the moment. Siege mode is complete for MMA. Is it going to save it? Horrible gets away. Just barely. Banshee goes down. MMA barely holds right now. But both players are on one base at oh. the moment. Oh. Wow. I'm sorry. It, we just actually just. So you know, there's actually a drop in the main at the same time of Marine King. So MMA putting some pressure back on. It loses his tank. That's huge. Whoa. That is actually huge. Banshee possibly taken out by the Viking. They're scanning so that the Viking can get some extra shots at it. And whoa. the Marines to defend. Man, that Banshee's like part immortal, man. Oh, wait, that's a new Banshee. Never yeah. mind. Yeah. They look the same. Season they look the same. It's Banshees all look the same to me. Oh, the Banshee gets taken out. I'm going to join the other two that have already went for it. The Valhalla. The land of the dead. <laughs> no, there's. it wasn't a Viking. Oh, you're right. Right. If it was a Viking that that's, died, it would go to Valhalla. That's true. So where do Banshees go? Or if it was a if it was a Valkyrie, but those aren't in this game. That's true. And uh, MMA is actually in a decent position right now. He's got he's managed to hold things off. He's still got that second orbital. Oh, and he's gonna kill the Banshee. Is he gonna? Oh, thank you. Yes. Out. It's a bad day to be a Banshee in Marine King's army. And yeah, MMA has been doing a lot of harassment in the background, and that is again. Something that really top level players will do. Even oh. when they're under attack, they will put some pressure back on their opponent. It's oh, the only way to get pressure. out of that situation. And there he goes. Another drop. And if this is micro, he could do some damage. Siege tank there in position. Is he going to siege up? No, he's not. Marine King is going to lose that tank. Oh, that is that. Bad. Whoa, that's going to make Marine King that's lose a SCVs. lot of those SCVs. Wow. MMA. Well, MMA. So well. Wow. Slaughtering SCVs.